Was that a yawn then, Harry? Yeah. It is quite early in the morning. So it is, well, it's just half past seven in the morning. We are off to the Royal Bath and West show. I, it's a local show. I haven't been there. Look, our cultural show. It's not that local. It's probably about 35 miles away. I haven't been to it for probably 30 years, to be honest. Never been to it. Never been to it. Well, so we're going there to have a look around. We might look at mowers. What else are we going to look at? Rake. Rake. Oh, Christ, mate. you spend my money, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm also going to try and catch up with Hetty Hen, who makes Scotch eggs. They sent me some Scotch eggs uh, earlier in the year. We're going to go and see them. They're, they're in the food hall, I think. I wanted to say thank you, because they were very generous in, in what they sent me. Um, and just general good day out, really. Maybe we'll meet some people we know. I don't know. Right, let's crack on. I, it's, I, I set off early, because I, I hate traffic. No, I'm not a great driver. I don't like driving really. That's why Sam, my wife, does most of the driving. Uh, so I thought if I go early, I'll miss all the traffic through Bristol. And I think it opens at nine, so we'll get maybe get there about right time for opening, and then we'll leave before they're made to rush out as well. Right, let's crack on. Off to uh, Shepton Mallet. Right, we're going through Shepton Mallet. There's a cider place on the right. Look at the cider vats there, look, Harry. And the cider mill there. So we're not far from the shave round. Look, the barrel, there's barrels in there, isn't it? And the bathroom where show ground, there's the sign, look. Can you see that? Bathroom show ground. Here we come on the roadside. You see the roadside there, look? Yep. Right. Nearly there. Okay. We have arrived. Has is here. Got a ticket, Has? Yeah. We are on our little mission round, uh, round the showground. I don't know, really know what to expect today. I mean, you know, it's a standard agriculture show and animals, tractors, some good food. Um, so we'll see what we can see. I'm not gonna film hours and hours here. I'm just gonna do a little bits and pieces uh, to give you a flavor of the Bath and West. Sponsored by Thatcher's, I think. Right, here's the map. We're there, Harry, aren't we? I think. Pigs, cattle, food court, foodie, foodie. Not having the cider. I'm going to buy some cider for my friend, but I'm not going to drink it here. Fairground, main ring, rings here. Well, the main rings there, but there's a sheep shearing, goats. Oh, there's more animals down here. Where, where are we going first? Pigs. Goats. Right, There's goats? Did you say goats? No. So what? pigs. Pigs, pigs. Let's go and see pigs. Hello. Right then, let's go. Ooh, look at these. What breed are these? Second prize, look. What breed's that one? Uh, but it just says the breeding. Saddle, British saddleback. It says it there. Oh yeah, of course it does. Hello. Big mama. Big mama. Hello. Gorgeous. This one's done well. Blimey. A lot of rosettes first. Look at that. Saddlebags. What else have we got here? Two. These are all saddlebags, are they? I guess so. What's the saddlebag? Wow, look at the size of that one. Jesus. Wow. Oh, they're like ours, aren't they? Lying down together. With girls. Wow, we. I'm getting bigger and bigger. This one's huge. Look at the size of it. It's not very old, look. 22nd of October 2020. Massive. What are these? And these, they're, nice. they're a bit like the size of ours, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, well, when we sell ours to market, it'll probably be about that size. Yeah. I'm guessing, not pigman. Yes. Hello. I'm <laughs> Your first prize winner at Bath and West Show. Well done. My name's Millie. Wow. 
Right, let's have a look at the other pigs. What breed, other breeds have they got? So, this is a lesson in pig breeds. So we have a British Saddleback back there. Yeah, what have we got here? Large whites. Large whites? Oh, there's more here. Do you think these are large whites? Might be. They are large and they're all They are large and they're that white, aren't they? Look at that one. Look at the size of that. Oh, very impressive. <laughs> Yeah, that's, like that's another saddleback. <laughs> right, we need to get get back round. We could be here a long time. But if we go at this pace around it, you know, I said I won't do a lot of video. I think by the time we finish here, we, we could end up with a massive pig project before we even got anywhere else. Right, um, so what have we got here, Has? Does it, we don't know what breed these are yet, do we? I presume they are large whites. I think so. And this one is... Haley Loveless, pedigree... The Rock. The Rock, oh, the different breed again, look. They're red. Wow, that's a nice colour, isn't it? <laughs> wow, wee, look at that. Oh, that one's done well. This one here is the prize winner, look. Look at, wow, we oh, and they lovely. He loves three little girls. They just love sleeping pigs, don't they? Right. Okay. More large whites. That is a big bad boy. Look, champion, female. First. Champion. Mike Brown. Mike Brown's done that one. Well done, Mike. Massive. Mike's done well with that one. Right, we're gonna we're gonna carry on around here. How many more pig videos do you want? We got cattle to see yet. Harry, we can't spend all day in here. These are the Tamworth. Look, the Tamworth too. And they're lot pigs. Oh look, this one's having pig nuts. So when they get big, they have big feed. Look, our, our feed's quite small for our pigs, isn't it? Are you just having your breakfast? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Those ones are waiting for breakfast. Yeah. Oh. See that thing? That's yeah. a weighted water thing. We might have to get some like that for our pigs. That's really heavy on the base. Stop and flipping it over. <laughs> Learning as we go what we need to get. There's a spotty one, where? Spotty one, spotty one. Oh, wow, look at that one. Wow. It is like a Frisian. <laughs> Have you enjoyed it? Spots on that. That one's got a second prize. So, you know, I'm going to make the most of this because at the moment, walking around here is really pleasant. We, we got, we're at nine, it's nine o'clock. We're here before anyone else, or the majority of people. Come back here. Um, three hours time, I reckon this would be absolutely rammed and you would struggle to get through. So uh, this is the beauty. I always think, start early, get somewhere early and leave early. Miss the traffic, miss the people. Right. Some of the pigs I think have been taken out. Look. They're probably showing now. They probably, well, no, they might have done their job. Or they might, maybe these weren't even used. Or maybe they're not even here yet. They might have taken them home. They might have done the competition and thought, oh, I'll take them back. Or maybe they haven't arrived. I think it's more like they've already had the competition and they didn't win and they've gone. Because that was probably the showing ring. Because they've, they've already all got their certificates, haven't they? They've yeah. been marked. This one got fourth. Tamworth, fourth. No piglets here, are there? I don't suppose they enter these in competitions. Oh, Harry, come on, we've got to go and see this. Oh no, they're gone. Where's the Gloucester Old Spots? Yeah. That's not a Gloucester Old Spot, is it? It's got oh, it's got spot. one spot. It's got a spot in its head yeah. now. Where? Oh, behind you, there's no so, Gloucester Two Spot? Yeah, behind you. Hang on. Oh, that's more like it. It's yes. A one and a bit more spotty. Like. Spotty pig. Gloucester Old Spot. That one, first prize. Here we are, it's first prize for the old spot. Very spotty, this one. Is it? More like one. That one's, that one's second prize. The biggest pig. 
Oh my life! It's like an elephant. The size of that. I don't think you can probably judge the scale of this on there, but that is a big pig. Take a photo, Harry. That's a big pig. That should just win prize for biggest pig. Look at that. You need some photos for your TikTok, Harry, don't you? What is it? Let's have a look. Poison Farm. Worse. Centenary year or oh, it's like you've got Wow. Wow. <laughs> Is this mental? Wow. Are you impressed with that, Harry? Yeah. Wow. So we've seen the biggest pig we've seen in ages. I think I yes. that is some pretty these are all fan works down here. Hello. What have you got to take yourself? Came first. Pig of the year. Pig of the year. Pig of the year heat. That that is that is a title that I can have when I'm eating um, a nice steak. Pig of the year. Right. We're heading out of the pig section now. Plenty to see here. Some lovely pigs, and we'll be back in to have a look at. Well, we'll see what we find now. What are we going to next, Harry? Harry, any idea? Black pig. Cattle. cattle next. Okay, Harry insists cattle. Right, we'll be we'll be back once we've extracted ourselves from the pig place into the cattle place. Oh, we can't go in the cattle bit. They, we just missed it. They're shutting the gates behind us. Look, restricted public access due to the movement of cattle. They've got a milking station over Have there. Have they? Well, yeah. some of the cattle probably need milking, don't they? Yeah. So we ain't going to be seeing the cattle just yet. So we're on to the next thing, whatever that will be. What are we going to do next, Harry? Let's see what we can find. No clue, as Harry would say. Right. Harry just told me he's starving. We can't get the cattle yet, so we are queuing up for a breakfast roll. <laughs> Typical dad, didn't plan this at all. Didn't bring any food with me, didn't bring any drink with me. Harry's cold. <laughs> I told Harry not to bring a jumper. Yeah, and it's And you're cold now. It's going to be hot later, I assure you. The sun's not fully up yet. Let's get a breakfast roll. Locally sourced. The interesting thing is, how much is this going to cost me? And would like to guess? I'll tell you in a minute. I'm sure it won't be cheap. Look at the size of that sausage. <laughs> so, that was bacon egg sausage. That was seven quid. Seven pounds. I don't know how much the coffee and the drinks were. You always expect to pay more here. Actually, do you know what? I think that's okay for seven quid because a lot of cost to run this site. They've got to make a profit. But the good thing is that is actually a good quality sausage, not some cheapy, horrible thing. I've, I've been to some shows where you end up buying stuff that's just ridiculously rip off, but that's all right. Anyway, the, the cattle showing has just started over there. They're bringing them up from the Mendip Hall there, over to there. We'll probably go and have a look at that in a minute, where we have finished this, but that is a hot sausage, isn't it? Yeah. I bet some of you watching that fancy a hot sausage. Lovely. Well, we're just sat here. I've finished my bacon and egg and sausage roll. Harry's still chomping through his. Credit where credit's due, actually. That was absolutely banging. That was a proper butcher's sausage. And I just noticed up on there, fair play, I'll give this bloke a mention. Paul Loder, a traditional family butcher. Paul Loder, that is. Don't know anything about the guy, where he's from. Do you know what? I got that roll. That sausage was a proper butcher's sausage. Not, And I've been to so many shows where you get a flipping sort of you know, the, you know the cheap sausage you get in rolls that are rubbish, let's say. It wasn't like that. That was, you know, I, I pay for good food. It's, it's so much better. I, I feel like I've eaten actually a really nice meal. And it's only a bacon roll thing, you know. It wasn't like a gourmet sit down. Uh, fair play. So I'll give him a mention there because, you know, that is so much better than average show food. So uh, anyway, we're going to go. Harry's still munching. You're doing well on that. That is, that is banging, isn't it? Proper job, as Jack would say. We are going to go off into the ring now and have a look once Harry's finished the proper job. You're going to be full on that, mate, aren't you? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> is this yours? Yeah. So how old is this one? Uh, just under six months. Six months old. 
And how long have you been training it? Uh, a bit. So we've been to another show since. Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. So have you done much showing before? Uh, yeah. You confident? Yeah. Good luck, mate. Thanks. So they're just going. Oh, we've lost Harry. They're just wandering off, Harry. And they, what are they doing at the moment? They're just showing. Let's have a look. Let's go and have a look. Can't see. You're busy already, isn't it? Should we go around the other side and go and have a look at those over there? Yeah. And here come... The bigger ones. The bigger one. I think they said this is the 7 to 12 year old age group doing this. White coats, always have the white coats for stock judging or showing. Beautiful animals, aren't they? Wow, look at this one. Wow, look at that. And we're underway in class 108 in the beef ring. That's for beef showmanship for young handlers aged 11 to 16 years of age. Uh, judge again, Millie Hendy, and we're still in this little, lovely big long class for the junior dairy showmanship for young stock men and women aged 7 to 12 years of age. And the bigger the class, the more difficult to judge, and there's some good young handlers here as well. Uh, judge Stephen Harris. <laughs> Just so having a good chat, finding out how she looks after the animal and what she knows about it. And these guys are waiting their turn, so they'll have a go in a minute. In the meantime, there's the younger class next door. We worked out what's that, what age group did you said that was? Seven to twelve. That's what you wanted to enter in, isn't it? Yeah. Is this what you want to do? Just take two eighty. Two eighty, yeah. This is what she you want to do. Class is probably the same age as these ones. Mm. She's she's perfect. Class. She's is there anything the you don't want to go at, Harry? Um, being a lawyer. Being a lawyer, it's good. Too question. complicated. Oh, it's very complicated. Leave that to Mum. Now we're going to keep moving around because we've got a lot to see. Harry wants one of these. Well, that is nice, isn't it? That is nice, isn't it? I bet you'd like one of those, Harry. Hey? Eh? That's 10,000. 10 grand? Yeah. What would you use that for then? I don't know. I could see you driving little, one of those around. Little, um, mower. Yeah, You'd love that, wouldn't you? Topper on the back. That is a cool little Scooby Doo tractor, isn't it? Turn this one. I'd, I'd like that. I could drive around in that. It's in my retirement, you could, I'd just come and check on you with that. It's like a yard scrape tractor. Yeah. It's, it's got a beacon. Harry, I think I'd just drive around checking on you, make sure you're doing the work properly. You'd see me a mile off in this thing, wouldn't you? It still looks pretty spacious. Yeah, once you're in it, on. once you're in it, it's nice, isn't it? Look at the control panel up there. It's got aircon. It is nice, isn't it? Lovely little Quite tractor, isn't it? Well. So you could still, this is probably more yeah. useful than the gator thing, isn't it? Because you could actually still use it as, but you could drive it's it like around like a gator, but you could use it, it would look perfect for topping top top or something, yeah. Well, 10 grand, like, that seems quite good value really, isn't it, don't you think? Or a small first For a brand new vehicle, 10 grand. Plus fat. Plus fat, yeah, we can claim that back for your farmer. Wow, that is, that, that, I don't know anything about this vehicle at all, but for 10 grand, that seems like a good buy to me. We could get a little loader tractor. Harry, you're spending money as we go. I love it. All right. So many tractors. 
Is that right? Here's the gears. Hmm. Wow. Right, we better move on. And brakes there, yeah. It's a bit high up, isn't it? If you're sat there, I think that's quite an awkward place to have it. You want it more forward there, really, my guess. No. I think that's the design of the track. Don't know why it's there. Right. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, we're recycling there, look. Just walking up past. So there's the there's the judging for the cattle and stuff. We're just gonna walk on up here. Police are in option. Four, I'm looking for uh, Avenue Four. So, oh look, there's a. So we go and have a look at what's on the main ring. I'm not sure whether there's. I'm not sure whether there's anything out here yet. I think this is actually. Yeah, I think they're just setting up the main ring. There are some horses out here. We're just going to go and have a look. Okay, so we're here a bit early. And they are still setting up. I think for them, probably one of the events there. They're putting the boards in. They had some flowers just put down there, and uh, on the back of the fence there is all the equipment. And in the meantime, over the far side, there are some. Let's have a look over there. Zing right there. There's some horses there. Look. Not sure what they are doing. I think they might have just finished what they've been doing. So they're just sort of probably just chatting. Nothing. Looks like someone might be taking photographs. There's the photographer, look. Smile. Get in, the, get in the shot. So nothing happening in this ring at the moment. We might look at that again later when they finish setting up. So there we are, Going on by, we've got pennies here. I think they're based near Bath. They're, they're pennies. Um, diggers. Harry, Harry's just spotted the shorts he wants for his birthday, which are Hexley Harlequin shorts. Apparently everyone's wearing them and, and we've just been spotting them. They're two-tone coloured shorts. I looked at them, 35 quid. Maybe that's an expensive birthday present he might get, I don't know. <coughs> right. Somerset family soft cheese makers. There's already queues everywhere, isn't there? And it's early yet. Oh, that's a nice tea towel, isn't it? Pigs. Wow. We are in the gift area now. I'm not going to spend too long here. It's probably not my thing. There's some, there is some nice stuff here. Look at these pictures. They're lovely. Wow. That's really nice. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Life on a farm. <laughs> right. I do like this tractor one. Isn't that? We saw it. And the pig. So. Are you the lady who does these pictures? I am, yes. So, yeah. this is amazing. They're lovely, aren't they? Thank you. And so, how long have you been doing these then? Oh, a long time, about seven years now. Wow. And so, what gets, what gives you the inspiration on all these pictures? I'm just. That's the hardest question. It is, but I mean, um, what makes you suddenly really? think I'll do a hedgehog with yeah. a balloon or something like I that? I think it's just uh, creating a talking point. So yeah. There's uh, lots of them aimed at children, so that they've got lots to look at and lots to talk about. So. Wow, I love the Highland one as well. Oh, that's, thank you. That's beautiful, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you've got, oh wow, I'm just, I haven't really looked properly at all these. You've got the hair there, that's lovely. Yeah. And the, the fox and everything, that's wonderful. Have you got, if someone wanted to buy some of these pictures, where could they yeah. go to buy uh, them? Just go to my website, which is charlotteengland.com. Say that a bit louder because it's quite loud. Charlotteengland.com. Charlotteengland.com. Right, brilliant. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you. You've been brilliant. Have a really good day, thank all right? You too. Take care. That was nice. It was just a random chat with that girl. I wasn't. There was no product placement there, as in she said to me, "Come and talk to me." I just, I just saw some of the students selling their own stuff, and it's, you know, really not that were quality pictures there. Not too expensive either. Fair play to her. I hope she does well today. There's some other stuff around here. Birthday cards. Right. So, I don't want a quartz crystal. I don't think. Uh, those aren't for me. So uh, we're heading out now. Ooh. Nice sharpness. Mate, I love, this is what I love about the shows. You've got the farming side of things, but you've also got 
all the kind of other things like this and crazy stuff. Oh, nice pillows. I've got to get out of here before I spend a load of money on myself buying myself a pillow and a picture. Right, let's go and see something else farm related. We're in the cheesy bit now. So there's lots of cheese here. The Bath Soft Cheese Co. And um, we've got organic vintage cheddar. And there's some more there, Batch Farm Cheese Makers. I might buy a cider later. It's just the fact that I just don't want to carry stuff around me at this time of day. All right, let's crack on. This is more like this is cider, cider here. Apple juice and cider. And we've got cheese award, cheese awards. Oh, these are the, uh, are these the award winners? And these are what I've won in the past by this year. Wow. Look at the size of that. I thought that, that That's a cheddar. I That's that what was cheddar a... traditionally always was like, Harry, in these big rounds, look. I thought that was a... Um, look at it. Like a stand. No, that's a piece of cheddar, look, and they cut it out of that. And it would have had a che oh, it's got a cheesecloth around it. Can you just see the cloth around yeah. the side? If you look, you can just see on the edge of it, you can actually see the cloth around the edge, which protects it, and then you take that off. There's very orange and blue one. Yeah, it's a Shropshire blue. Lovely. Bath on British cheesy boards. The honey pot tea. You're, you're making one of these then, sir. Yes, it's an old skep hive. How long would that take you to make? Between 12 and 18 hours. Really? Yeah. And uh, I'm just noticing this in straw. What straw are you using for this? Or is it straw? Just just ordinary wheat straw, like, like yeah. the thatcher would use to thatch a house. That's wow. where it comes from. I get, I know some thatchers and that's yeah. where I, I get it from. Really? Yeah. Wow. And, and how long will one of these last if once it's out? If, if, if it's been treated as just a hive outside, yeah. I had one in the garden for about four or five years before it started coming. Collapsing, and that was just outside in the open elements. Um, the ideally is what you need to do is put them in a, what they call a bee bolt. I've seen them, they're yeah. sort of like shelves almost. That's yeah. right, and there's, a, there's a picture at the top there. Of, ah, uh, right, I've seen one of those. That, that sort of thing. Yeah. And obviously the wet is kept off, because the wet is the biggest enemy. Yeah. So if you keep the wet off them, then certainly they, 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 you know, they, they can last a long time. I mean, I know a chap that's got a, a skep that uses just for collecting swarms. He's had that 30 years. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's a lovely craft to have. Like, how many, I don't expect many people do it, do they? Uh, I've, I've taught one person that is trying it out, because you know, it's yeah. only a hobby, really. You right. never make money. No, no, like a lot of these things. So, yeah, so I, I've, I managed to talk, teach one person how to do it, yeah. and he is actually doing it. He also makes these, um, you know, like the knots they use for canal boats, and that's right. the rope knots. Yeah. So he's got that sort of bent anyway. So, wow. you know, this is, this is how it uh, comes it's to a, I like to pass it on if I can. It's an amazing skill. I'm just watching you now. You're just... So I'm just you, trying to knot that. Now, my fingers aren't as strong as they used to be. I used to be able to do that with my fingers. I'm not going to hold you up because no, you're... No, no, that's all right. I'm I'm just, just, you, so I'm just thinking, you start in the middle... Yeah. ...and you're weaving it around. And, and what do you do? You're knotting as well, you go, well, are you? Well, I'm going to rat and what Basically, the easiest way of it's explaining a skep is it is straw going round and round that way. Yeah. And rattan going round and round that. Right. Now each, I'm going back. I'm just tightening back. I'll show you what I do. Yeah. I'm just what what I do is I literally do do is I've gone out over the top. Really, usually yeah. I do about five. What I do is I go round a certain distance round and then just tighten down. Right. See how it's all. Yeah. You no. Know? You're pulling it together. So I'm pulling it up more and more each time. And and I've just noticed. So if you don't mind me grabbing no, one a minute. Exactly why not, yeah. So you have got a base and a top. Does it, do you just continue that base round and then go yeah. up? It's, so it's just, one solid piece so then? Just, yeah, oh yeah, it just keeps going round. And basically right. what you've got to remember to do is when you're doing the stitch, yeah. so if I'm coming round here now, that what you do is the stitch will go like that. So it crosses the... Yeah. So your straw's now here and the rat will go oh, on top okay. of there. Oh, yeah. Because if you, I, I go, you. you go straight through like that, when you pull yeah. it, you'll end up with lots of little holes all the way right. around the yeah. skep. Look, obviously, you don't want holes in your skep. No. Well, that's amazing, mate. Thank you so that's much right. for sparing well your time with that. Right, we're just going through the B, the B section. We're not going to spend too long in here. We just, I just been speaking to the butcher man. Look at this. This is a look at that. These are different types of uh, honey. 
Look at that one. Hmm? What's up there? Oh wow. One there. Honey for sale. Look at this. Do you need any honey? The honey section. No, we get it off John, don't we? Emerson Green honey. Wiltshire honey. Don't yeah. touch them. Might knock them over. Axbridge honey. What other honey? Devonshire, Somerset honey. Bacon's honey. Pure comb honey. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's Devonshire honey, Somerset, Somerset honey. It's got to be Somerset honey because we're in Somerset. It's a gift or something. Oh wow, look, this is the honey competition, look. Wow, look, this is interesting, isn't it? Look at that. All the different types of honey. Wow. Goodness me. First prize, oh, second prize that one. First prize. Wow. And there's, I think that's probably mead up there. That's, let's have a look. Is that mead? I don't know. Melam Melamel, I'm not sure what Melamel is. Oh, this is mead. So that's mead, that's, that's, so if you didn't know already, mead, mead is made from honey. So, uh, yeah.